Federal and state help is being made available every day for the survivors of the Maui fires, but the grassroots efforts to help, they are still alive and strong in the heart of the burn area. Fox News' Deborah Gill is on the ground in Maui, giving us a look at one of the first community-created supply hubs near Lahaina. Because we didn't have power and the stores were getting flooded and the only, you know, so much people could go in at a time. You know, we decided to, hey, let's let's do something. The morning after the devastating fire swept through Lahaina, Kanamu Banimbin and his friends decided not to wait for necessary supplies to come to them. Now, a small compound. It started with one tent and one table and a few things to give away. Hours later, trucks from Hana arrived with more. They came in with a truckload of generators, a truckload of water, a truckload of canned goods and necessities. But not with just canned goods, canned goods with openers, generators with with, filled with gas and gas reserves. The neighborhood here was spared, but still cut off from everything they needed. Manimbin says many of his family members lost their homes in the Lahaina fire. He tells us it was so painful to see it that he had to turn around and leave. I'm a war veteran. I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know, I was in the army, so I know, I know what is, you know, that's what that reminds me of. You know, just like a bomb dropped in. He doesn't yet know how many of his loved ones perished in the fire. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. So a lot of, lot of times, you know, a lot of us haven't had a chance to mourn yet. You know, this is how we're coping by helping people. Along with food, water and supplies for every member of a family, this hub also has medical care. Getting people what they need from prescriptions that can't be filled because of closed pharmacies to help with burns and cuts sustained when escaping the fire. And unfortunately for the situation, some of them have gotten infected, so we've been trying to treat and make sure they have the right antibiotics and wound care they need. And Benimbin says everyone here will keep supplying that care, items to live until it is no longer necessary. And we will mourn at one point. You know, we all need to cry at some point, and that will happen. That will happen, just not right now. Deborah Gill, Good Day Oregon.